this essential part of our government is in crisis. Over the years since I left office, I've observed a worrisome trend of less than ideal treatment of the Surgeon General, including undermining his authority at times when his role and function seemed abundantly clear. I think if you go back to the earliest possible days of the Office of the Surgeon General, uh, there was a lot of meddling. They created a new position of Assistant Secretary of Health, which was a political appointee who would oversee the Surgeon General, and slowly they started taking power away from the Surgeon General and budget. Politics is a part of public health. We like to pretend like it isn't, but it is. I don't think the office is in trouble necessarily because there are frictions between the Office of the Surgeon General and the White House. There have always been, there always will be. There will always be political meddling, but we want the position to be protected. The Surgeon General is not allowed to talk about women's reproductive rights or climate change or those kinds of things. Um, that's a muzzling that occurs, and I don't agree with it, but that's going to happen in the institution, and Surgeon Generals have got to figure out how to get around that. I wish there was less interference, more independence. But I also think um, the, the dynamic relationship has been there from the beginning, and it also helps to define the office.